What's up everyone, this is Autocus Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get the public beta of iOS 13. So that was actually just released today, but I'm also gonna mention whether or not if you have the private beta, so like the developer beta, if you have that, whether or not you should update to the actual public beta. So if you have iOS 13 developer beta, should you get the new public beta? So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do, click the link in the description. It's gonna take you to Apple's public beta testing website. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down, click the sign up, or the sign in button, depending on if you have an account or not. Typically, you just sign in with your Apple ID. So when you sign in, you'll see a page like this. You can tap on iOS, and then you'll want to scroll down, and then you will see that where it says enroll your iOS device. Just click on that, wait for it to load. My internet's really slow, or Apple servers are really slow because a lot of people are probably doing this right now. So it's gonna tell you to back up your device and all that. Hopefully you guys know the risks of installing a beta. You're probably gonna get terrible battery life. You're at a risk for losing all your information, for boot loops, you could destroy your iPhone. So just know that is a possibility. It does happen to people, unfortunately, but um, I ignore all that and I just click download profile because I this is a testing device. I don't really care if I lose everything or if it's a boot loop because it doesn't mean anything to me. So just go to your settings, general, go to, where is it, profile iOS 13 right here, click install, click install again. You might have to type in your device password. This device doesn't have a password, but you wanna click on restart. Okay, so the reason you wanna install a public beta instead of the private developer one is because the private developer one is always gonna be a few steps ahead of the public beta, which means it's gonna be testing new features, which means it's gonna be more buggy. So the public beta is for I guess your average day-to-day -day user who just wants to test out the new features. So it's gonna be less buggy, it's gonna be more optimized. I'm not gonna say like it's so much better, but if you want a smoother experience, go for the public beta, but you're not gonna get all the new features as soon as possible, if that makes sense. So go to general, software update, and you can just click download and install, click agree, and then boom, you have the iOS 13 public beta, and you just have to install it like every other software update. Anyways, Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.